Stop caring about the world. I've said it before. I'm going to tell you again. And I'm going to tell you why this is so important for you to realize and to realize that all of these things are distracting you. They're distracting you from accomplishing the things that you want in your life, right? The reason why you're not the man you want to be right now, the reason why you're not as successful as you want to be right now is literally because you are focused on things that do not belong to you, that are irrelevant to you, and somehow you've been convinced by society, by media, that these things are important and relevant to you, right? I just watched part of the Tucker Carlson interview with Vladimir Putin, okay? And it's interesting, okay? I'm not even gonna really comment on what Vladimir was saying, except to say this. This is what I realized from this conversation, all right? And it's not something that I necessarily didn't know before, but it just became so, so apparent that I thought I would make this video, which is this. Everything you know about the world is engineered. It's engineered by someone who wants you to believe that, right? There, there is one point in the interview, again, I, I'm, I'm not going to say whatever, you know, the point of this is that you can't really know what the truth is. But let's just say this, right? You can understand logic, right? And one thing that Putin said is he said, it's impossible to compete with the propaganda of the U.S. And Tucker was like, well, why is that? And he's like, because the United States controls all social media. And so I want you to think about that. What does that mean? <laughs> it's pretty funny. It's pretty funny because you think that social media is created by you, by people. You think when you're watching TikToks that what you're watching is actually what people have produced. That's what, that's what you think that is the reality of the world. You think when you're on X that that's the case. You think that when you're on Instagram or YouTube, that that's the case. It's not the case, <laughs> okay? Now, don't get me wrong. It, I'm not some major conspiracy theorist. People are producing content. However, the content that you're seeing, one, is determined by an algorithm. And there are people in control of that algorithm, okay? You know, this is not new news. The second thing to understand is the content that people are producing is never first order content. They're always responding to something that they have heard. And where have they heard that? From the sources, from the sanctioned media sources, from the things that have bubbled up in the algorithm. You gotta think about the game that's being played in the realm of global politics today. And you have to realize that it is impossible to know the truth. Even before we had social media, the truth was hidden from us. History books, you think that history books are accurate? <laughs> Funny. <laughs> no, they're not. All right? <laughs> it, it, it's, well known, it's a well-known quote that history is written by the winners. So what, what does that mean? How, how is that relevant? What, where does that all pertain to you? All I'm saying right? And maybe you're getting a little bit charged about this and you're like, mm, John, you're ticking me off. Good. Good. Because that's just showing you exactly what your issue is, is that it shouldn't affect you. It doesn't matter what I'm saying. It doesn't matter what I'm saying about these things. It doesn't matter because, first of all, you can never know the truth. You don't know what's actually going on in the world. You honestly do not. You might say, well, I have some relatives, blah, blah, blah. They know what they've been told. They're not actually there witnessing it. They might even actually be there, but they're not actually witnessing what the actual reality is. They might see a bombing. They might see something happening, but it doesn't mean that they know it. They're still being told a story. You would, you would have to be totally insane to believe that the biggest economy in the world, all right, or that the biggest economies in the world that have a vested interest in sustaining themselves would not dominate and control media. 
it's absolutely ridiculous <laughs> to believe that that would be the case. So where am I going with this? My, my point with all this is not to try and propagate some kind of conspiracy theories. It's, it's merely to make you understand the irrelevancy of everything that you think you know about the world. Because it doesn't matter. Because what matters is your local relevance, right? What are you doing today? What time did you wake up this morning? What time did you start working on your dreams? What, how, how much did you run or go to the gym today? How many girls did you talk to? How many books did you read? What are the things that are relevant to you? Did you work on building a business? Did you work on a side hustle? Did you create something of meaning? Did you create meaningful relationships with people who are actually in your life? Did you foster and establish those relationships? Did you nurture those relationships? Did you take care of your children? Did you help your wife? <laughs> do, do you understand what I'm saying? I'm saying that those things are important. And what you're seeing on TikTok, what you're seeing on YouTube, what you're scrolling through social media, it's not important. It's a distraction. It's pulling you away from becoming the man that you know you should become. All of that stuff, all of it. You're wasting your energy. You're wasting your time. You th you're arguing about a fantasy fictional world that doesn't actually exist. You think that it does. And even if it did, what can you do about it? Right? I used to try to say, it's, don't worry about things you can't control. But I believe that people don't even acknowledge that. Instead, realize that it doesn't matter. And again, we, we look at this and you think that I'm making an exception to the the woke culture and what women are doing in society and how they're wrong. I'm not making an exception to that. All that stuff doesn't matter either, right? It's important to understand some of the dynamics that are going on in terms of society, in terms of the environment that you live in, in terms of masculinity and femininity and family and business and those type of things. Yeah, some of those things are important to understand that climate that you live in. However, you cannot change it. You cannot affect it in any significant way. In fact, the only way that you could actually affect it or change it is doing something like I'm doing. Have a platform, build an audience, put your voice out there for that purpose. But think about it. Am I really going to be able to do that with as much reach as that I have had? I don't have the reach that I that I had now, I've chosen to, to move to this channel and you know, whatever, things have, have changed. But my point is, is that unless that's what your actual agenda is, unless you're actually trying to change the world and that's what you're actually gonna make your job as, then don't worry about it because you're just wasting your time. You're just wasting your energy. You're just ruining relationships and friendships and you're causing yourself drama. Think about how much drama you're causing in your life. Really. <laughs> and, and, and you're wasting so much time. You have all the time that you need to accomplish all that you want to in life. All the, all the relevant things. All the things that you think that you want. Now, some of those things are not actually going to become as amazing as you think that they are. They're not going to make you happy. But I can't tell you that. You're going to have to find that out. However, you might as well start finding them out. Because... There's a reason why you're sitting watching this video and not where you want to be in life right now. There's a reason for it. And the reason for it is because you're distracted. You're distracted by all kinds of shit that is not relevant to you, that is not going to affect your life in any way. It doesn't matter. You know, I watched that interview, part of the interview, I had to turn it off because I don't really need to, you know, I was just doing some other work around the house and I figured, okay, well, I'll turn this thing on just to hear because it's interesting to me, right? But, you know, I know that that stuff doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter what, what's going on. <laughs> it, it doesn't really matter, right? Because it's not going to affect your day-to-day -day life. And if it does... It won't matter because you won't have any control over it. But the things that you do have control over are the things you need to focus on. And if you start focusing on those things and start tuning out all this other stuff, then you'll start to get to where you want to go. I'm telling you. 
You can have an opinion on the Tucker Carlson thing, whatever. You can. If you want to waste your time and your effort, I don't know. I don't care. I don't know how much of it's true. I don't know if if Putin's lying or if it's all a setup or, or there's a million different things that it could be, okay? <laughs> but I don't care. <laughs> I don't, it doesn't matter. It only matters. I only listen to hear what do these minds have to say. That's what I'm trying to get out of it myself. I don't care what's actually going on. I think it's all bullshit. I think it's all a lie. It doesn't matter because I can't know the truth. Do you understand what I'm saying? Is that I don't need to waste my time having an opinion on whether Russia should be at war with Ukraine or who the aggressor is or what the issue is or who's right or who's wrong. I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. Not at all. Not at all. Why should it matter to me? Right? Some people have told you that it should matter to you. And those are the people that are using you. They're manipulating you. Think about it. Why would it be relevant to you? Do you care what's going on in your neighbor's house? <laughs> Do you care? Do you say, oh, well, wait a minute. This is different, John, because World War Three. Yeah, okay, so you knowing this is going to prevent World War Three. If World War Three is coming, it's coming. It's, it doesn't matter whether you know it or not. Now, you can see some of the signs and say, maybe I should prepare for some bad stuff can happen, but you should be prepared anyway. Do you know what I'm saying? And, and there isn't really I'm beating this dead horse. I like to beat dead horses. You, you know, you guys, <laughs> the OG uh, guys from Simple Programmer, is because you don't get, you're not listening to me, right? You're hearing the words I'm saying, but are you absorbing them? Are you gaining an understanding? Are you still going to do the same shit that you're doing? The answer is, yeah, you are going to do the same shit that you're doing, okay, for most people. But maybe, maybe if you listen to this enough times and you realize how much you're costing yourself to be up on the political news of the day, <laughs> to have an opinion about something stupid, all right, that that doesn't matter, that you think matters, that you can't even know what is the actual truth of the situation, that it's just, which pawn do you want to be? Do you want to be a pawn for this army or for this army? Because I can guarantee you there is nobody looking out for you. They're, they're trying to win you to their side so you can be a pawn for their side. That's all that they're trying to do. You have to opt out of that game. Do you understand? Because if you don't get this, you're going to waste so much time. You're going to waste so much life. You're going to waste so much energy. And you're not going to get to where you want to be in life. The only way you're going to get to where you want to be in life is when you ignore all the shit that's not relevant and put you put your head down and you get to work. When you start doing that, now you're going to get there. Now, if all this sounds good to you and you want some help getting there, I'll tell you what you can do. You can click the link down below in this video. I've got a Bulldog Mindset membership where I teach you the real important stuff about being a man, how to be a man, mindset, fitness, dating, relationships, wealth, how to build a business, how to invest in real estate, all of those things. We've got monthly group coaching calls, everything you need, a community of strong men who are focused on improving themselves. If you want to join, check it out. Let me know if you have any questions. And I'll see you next time.